This video is on the EPB 10K and we are precision weigh and balances. You can order the EPB 10K from our website either balances.com or scaleman.com. The EPB 10K is an affordable compact digital scale offering a huge 10,000 grams weighing capacity and in increments in one tenth of a gram readability. We also offer the EPB 6K and EPB 3K, which are 3,000 grams and 6,000 grams in weighing capacity and still 0.1 gram readability. In this video, the features that we're going to be demonstrating are available in all three models. By far, the EPB 10K is our number one seller since the price difference between the models isn't that much. This compact digital scale is very simple to operate and features five tactical keypads to complete any operation. We have an on off button, a zero button for tearing a container, a print button for sending data via the RS-232, a units key for changing the weigh mode, and finally we have a parts counting button if you want to do piece count. And piece count. Um, the large seven segment, seven eighths inch high LCD display features a backlight for easy viewing and is one of the largest in this category for a portable digital scale. The backlight makes it easy for reading the weighing results from a distance or in areas where lighting isn't always the greatest. The fast stabilization time displays the results quickly. The EPB digital scale is lightweight, weighing only 3.1 pounds. It is easy to carry in the field for weighing samples anywhere, anytime. This compact digital scale offers a combination of remarkable features at an affordable price. The EPB operates on either AC adapter or can be powered by six AA batteries. So on the bottom we have a battery compartment for six AA batteries. <clears throat> As you can hear, the balance also has an enunciator. Um, the large plant, the large weighing platform measures 6.7 inches, 6.7 by 7 inches, and can accommodate most large samples without covering the LCD display. Sometimes people put uh, large objects on the platform and they would cover the display. As you can see with this video, it can easily fit on the platform and you're still able to see the weigh-in results. If you do have a large object that extends over the platform, you'll notice that the display, the display is on a, about a 40 degree angle. So if you do have large objects, you'll still be able to see that display. Most comparable scales in this category, if you look at an AHO Scout or an A&D EJ or EK series, the LCD is in the same plane. So if it's a large object, it would cover the display altogether. Um, the sturdy subplatter, so we have a stainless steel platter here, and underneath it, is a sturdy subplatter, and you'll notice it's a four post design to provide better weigh in results, especially in the corners. Other scale manufacturers design their scales with only a single post in the center, and this results in greater eccentric weigh in errors. You can determine the eccentricity uh, by placing a weight in all four corners of the balance and noticing the weight difference. 
And so you can see with the EPB, this is the 10K version. It reads to a tenth of a gram in all four corners, it's within those specs. Um, the four post design is cost greater to manufacture, and this is why many major brands only go with a single post to cut corners to maximize profit while diminishing your weighing accuracy. When transporting a scale, the ability to remove the weighing platform, <clears throat> to remove the weighing platform prevents the load cell from being damaged from excessive loads. You'll see beneath the platform, there is a spider that the um, sub platter fits into. But if you have the weighing platform removed, there would never be any excessive loads or any pressure at all uh, exerted on the load cell. If you're a scientist in the field taking samples and you have a scale in the bag or in a case, any pressure applied to the platform would cause premature failure of the weighing sensor. With the EPB, simply remove the weighing platter and this eliminates any possible damage. Other manufacturers don't design their scales like this because they basically want the scale to break, so you need to buy another one, and you'll learn the hard way since load cell damage is not covered under warranty. The rugged ABS housing features a heavy-duty load cell. You have four adjustable feet for leveling beneath the balance. The rear of the scale has an RS-232. This RS-232 is not supported by us, but if you are good with RS-232 and hyperterminal, um, you could use this RS-232 interface to export the data. But again, we won't support that. Um, let's see. So again, if you turn on the scale, the scale does a power up sequence. And once the scale is powered up, you'll see it's counting down. So it's testing the functionality. Um, we'll go to zero, zero. And we can place a calibration weight on the scale. And you'll notice in the lower left-hand corner, there's a, an I symbol. This is the stabilization. So when you place an item on the scale, a valid reading would be once you see that stabilization light luminate. Um, you could use the tear to tear out a container. Um, we'll just say that we had a container there, so we'll zero out the one kilogram weight, and we can place another weight on the scale, and there you go. So that's what the tear function is. You could tear the capacity, so I could tear that weight out, and I could use another weight, and you can see how fast the scale responds. Um, you do have the ability to change weigh modes by simply pressing the unit key. Presently, we're in grams. We'll change to ounces, pounds, penny weight, troy ounces, carats, and then there's several foreign weights, teal. And there's also grains here. Mummies, tolls, which are all used overseas. And we're back to grams. Um, it has a bright backlight display that we mentioned for easy viewing. Uh, by pressing a sequence of these keys, you can program the scale to disable the backlight so it's always off or always on. Other configurations uh, could be to disable the auto shutoff. The auto shutoff would shut off the scale after no activity to save battery power. Um, so when the scale has no activity after, you could set it for three minutes it would shut off, five minutes or ten minutes, or again, you can disable it. There's an annunciator, so when someone presses the buttons, they know for sure that the button has been pressed by that beeping noise. If the beeping noise bothers you, you can disable this annunciation function. And we'll be making another video called Configuring Your Electronic Precision Balance, where we'll walk you through how to disable or change these functions. 
These EPB scales offer outstanding value. The scale is made in China, no different than comparator models like AND's EJ and EKI series, which are made in Korea, or Our House's Scout and Atom Equipment's HCB series, which are made in China. Calibration is simple, but does require the purchase of optional calibration weights, which again is similar to other manufacturers. They do require you to buy weights, they're not provided. The EPB is one of the few scales on the market that allows you to use any size calibration weight within the weighing range of the scale. We always recommend calibrating the scale with at least 50% of the weighing capacity. So if you buy an EPB 10K, you really should be using a 5 kilogram weight. If you buy an EPB 6K, you're looking at a 3 kilogram. Um, and if you buy a EPB 3K, it should be 1500. But if all you have is a 1 kilogram mass, you could calibrate all three models with 1 kilogram. Please again, we'll be making a video and you can watch how to calibrate your EPB precision balance where we will walk you through the steps of calibration and how to change the uh, cal weight needed for calibration. Thank you for watching this video. If you would like to purchase the EPB digital scale, please visit our website again, balances.com, and in the search box, just enter EPB 10K. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing to our channel and YouTube will notify you when we have new videos.